Rhonda and I just passed our two-year anniversary traveling full-time. We spent 10 months living in our Thor Axis with a Ford Fiesta tow car, but we were ready for a change, sold that, and bought our Outdoors RV 28 DBS. But there was a three and a half month interim period where we lived in our Ford F-250 diesel. We stayed at Airbnbs, hotels, and even my mom's basement. We enjoyed a month on the beach in Jacksonville and drove across country to Oregon to pick up our new RV in July of 2021. It was expensive, but we had built those costs into our budget. I use a spreadsheet to track just about all of our costs, pretty detail-oriented, and have been using spreadsheets for a very long time. So the complex formulas for database looks, lookups are fun for me. We've spent close to $25,000 on camping and hotels. That was includes the three and a half months in Airbnbs, which was quite a bit of money. Uh, as far as discount cards and club memberships, our America the Beautiful card for national parks and forests is the best money we've ever spent. We use Harvest Host some, but generally spend a lot of money at those places. And KOA we use when we have to, mostly in New Jersey. And Good Sam, I don't know that we've ever got, uh, we, I think one place we've gotten a Good Sam discount. But our original budget for camping was $20 a night. I figured we could do that if we spent, say, 20 nights camping, 10 nights boondocking. That was my original thought anyway. In actual numbers, we've done $28.35, which, considering that includes the Airbnbs and everything, I feel like that's pretty good. And if I take out Airbnbs and hotels, then our cost is $20.15, which is really good. We've spent 91 free nights camping, and we paid $144 in cancellation fees of for places where we just changed our mind. Our basic favorite places to camp are state parks and national forests. <clears throat> this shows where we've been camping by state and how much we've spent. It includes all the Airbnbs and it also includes all of the uh, future camping that we've had to pay for in advance like 80 nights in Florida for this winter where you pretty much have to make your reservation 11 months in advance to get a state park campsite so overall way too much time in Florida way too much time in New Jersey um, all the other states we've done good and enjoyed where we've been and still have a lot of traveling to do We've spent over $25,000 also on food. Our original budget was $6 per meal average. And that works out to three meals a day times two people times 30 days in a month is 180 meals per month. So $1,080 monthly. We mostly cook at home but spent quite a bit eating out, especially during Airbnb times. Um, but overall, we've lived within that budget, which when I first did it, I assumed was very generous. But we're at $5.80 a meal right now. Of course, we both only eat two meals a day. <laughs> Fuel. Yes, it's gone up a lot. In the 10 months we had our access, lived in our Axis and tow car, we used regular gas and we used about a thousand gallons at an average of two and a quarter a gallon. In the time that we were using our F-250 diesel, we used $6,400 of and 1,700 gallons at an average of 3.74 a gallon. But when we started, it was about $3 a gallon. And now, for June anyway of 2022, it was averaging six dollars a gallon. So, but it's going down a little bit. So, but that's still doubled in a year, less than a year and a half. 
not good. Entertainment is a big category. We um, bought two electric bikes, a, the bike rack, an inflatable boat, motor and battery. And so those were some big things that were more than half of our entertainment budget. But we've done some boat rides, kayak trips, tours, um, breweries, wine tastings. So we're not torturing ourselves. Um, you know, we've done a lot of fun things. We went to the Grand Old Opry. Uh, let's see, another one, Crazy Horse Memorial in South Dakota was fun. The Wax Museum in Nashville was cool. There's a lot of fun things we've done. <clears throat> storage we have a 10 by 10 conditioned air storage unit in Florida filled with stuff we wanted to keep from our house and a safe deposit box overall that's $138 a month for both items I've wanted to uh, make that storage unit go down to a smaller one but we're just not going to be able to do it RV supplies, we just spent $3,600 over two years. A mattress, our poop buddy, a Berkey water filter. We had to buy a, a cooler when our refrigerator broke. And leveling blocks and caulk. It's just amazing how much some of this stuff costs that you just have to buy. Maintenance, we've spent $2,300 for two years. And almost the majority of that was on our Ford Fiesta that just had some issues after we had a couple of accidents in Florida, driving just the car on I-75, running over a ladder and a tire. So it never really got fixed correctly. Other things that we spend surprising amount of money on is our mail service is almost a thousand dollars we're very happy with the provider but it's certainly not cheap uh, it's our official address and that price includes shipping a bunch of packages to us at various campgrounds across the country which can be pretty expensive laundry six hundred and twenty nine dollars we were just shocked how much laundry cost you know when you're using your own washer and dryer at home you don't think about it but we've paid anywhere from two dollars to wash and dry to like eight dollars for a washer and dryer uh, five hundred and sixteen dollars on propane we have a propane generator that we've put about 35 hours on and the whole time since we've had the new RV and our stove, refrigerator, and heat all use propane. And we've actually used the heat more than a few times in the winter. And we spent $250 on tolls. Some of those bridges, they just rip you off, it seems like, if you're in an RV. But we have an easy pass that includes Florida, so we just go through them and suck it up. Digital connections. We, for internet, we use a Verizon hotspot at $65 a month. It's an unlimited plan when you have Verizon. We've been in Vermont for the last three weeks and have had very limited service. At the campground we're at now, we have no service at all. We both have uh, visible cell phone providers and Visible's a subsidiary of Verizon, so it uses Verizon Towers. But with our family plan, we're only paying $25 a month each for unlimited. So that's a good deal. Uh, we have Netflix, YouTube Premium, Kindle Unlimited, Amazon Prime, Sirius XM for music in the truck. Altogether, that adds up to about $60 a month. We could cut some of that, but we enjoy it. Um, big things I didn't include in our budget was doing the solar upgrade for the new RV, the outdoors RV, and that came to just, a, well, a good bit over 6000 for the parts, and all the labor was free because I did it myself. Um, health insurance is definitely a big cost item for us and for most people, and that really depends on your individual circumstances. 
uh, truck and RV insurance, we pay right around $2,400, $2,500 a year. And again, that really depends on where your fixed address is. So our address is in Clay County, Florida, even though we're never there, but that's what they base those rates on. And we also finance the truck and the RV at 2% or under 2% interest rates. So I'm happy with those. I'm not happy with the payments, but I'm certainly happy with the interest rate. So in summary, it's not cheap, but you can control your costs based on the lifestyle you choose. If you want to live in high-end RV resorts, you're going to spend a lot more than we do. If you camp out in the desert for free and eat rice and beans, you're going to spend a lot less than we do. Uh, this coming year, we hope to do more free camping since we have the rig all set up for it. And our plan is to be able to go out west where there's a lot more free camping areas. So we look forward to that. Um, certainly the rising cost of diesel and food are a real issue. Hopefully that inflation doesn't stay forever and does come down. Diesel's gone down a f about 20 cents from its high, but still ridiculously priced. And food is definitely expensive. Thanks for watching and hope you got some useful information about this out of this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.